Welcome back to Horror Recaps. In a few seconds, you're going to listen to a frightening tale narrated by me. Fear awaits you. Watch out and take care. The movie opens with a boy scout standing by a busy road in Bangkok, holding his phone to his ear. On the other side of the road is an older woman crossing. A group of people collide with the woman, causing her to fall with the contents of her grocery bag. The boy scout notices the woman and then goes over to help her before the light changes. As he helps the woman cross the road, his mobile phone drops. Hoping to retrieve his mobile phone before vehicles begin to move, he goes back but unfortunately, he gets run over by a bus, killing him. The following scene shows the protagonist, Fuchit Pwangnathong, at a school staring at the obituary of the Boy Scout from the previous scene before answering the call of Meek, his friend, who leads him to the professor's office. As Fuchit begins to market his product, Professor Wainai realizes he is from Yamaha and informs Fuchit that he has placed an order through one of his colleagues, Prem, so he can't buy from him. Later that evening, Fuchit talks to his mother over the phone. His mother tells him to come back home if things are not working out for him in Bangkok. Fuchit reassures his mother of his well-being. His mother goes further to ask if he would make it home for the holidays, to which he replies in the negative, stating business often flourishes during the holidays, but tells his mother he would come if he has the chance. Asking about his musician girlfriend, Fuchit's mother demands he comes home with her. Unknown to his mother, Mayu had dumped Fuchit to become a pop star. Fuchit goes back to his tiny apartment, where he lives alone. The following morning, his car was missing from where he had parked at the previous night. In the opposite direction, he sees that his car has been repossessed. The agent hands him paperwork stating he missed payment over three months, taking his car keys from him. To get to work, Fuchit takes the public bus where he meets Tong, an intern from his workplace. He tries to convince Tong to concentrate on her music career. On the contrary, Tong reveals her father wouldn't want her to drop her computer science career for music. Getting to the office, he sees Prem obviously happy with the school deal. Later, Fuchit confronts Prem, asking why he took the deal even though he is aware the client is one of his prime clients. Feeling unbothered by his actions, Prem accuses Fuchit of being slow. During the conversation, another of his colleagues tells Fuchit that the boss needs to see him. The boss asks Fuchit why his sales have dropped. The explanation he gives falls on deaf ears, with the boss comparing him to Prem. Eventually, the boss hands out a termination letter to Fuchit. Devastated, Fuchit goes back to his seat, where he finds a stack of the outstanding bills. Picking them up, he goes to the staircase to clear his mind. Out of frustration, he crumples the bill and tosses it away. He reaches to get his pack of cigarettes, but it is empty, he crumples and tosses it away. Tong comes to meet him and hands him a pack of cigarettes. Shortly after, he receives a call from his mother, who informs him that his sister needs to pay her tuition fee. His mother begs him to lend her 800 baht, promising to return the money when his father comes back. Fuchit tells her not to worry, telling her he has enough money and savings and promises to transfer the money to her account. While at it, a fly begins to buzz around his head. He goes back to sit then his phone begins to ring. A strange voice at the other end reveals that he is qualified for a game, and he stands a chance to win 10,000 baht. Thinking that his friend, Meek, is trying to pull a prank on him, he threatens to hang up. The caller insists that he listens to him to show he has enough information on Fuchit. The caller tells him his full name, age, education status, hometown, employment status, and other vital information. This makes Fuchit more curious to find out the identity of the caller. Upon Fuchit's insistence to know his identity, the caller asks him if he wants him to help with his debt or not, staring at the crumpled paper at his feet, Fuchit says yes. To win the 10,000 baht offer, the caller tells him to swat the fly buzzing around with the newspaper behind him, telling him he will instantly receive the transfer message. Fuchit takes the newspaper and then swats the fly. Precisely as the caller said, Fuchit receives a transfer message. The caller calls him back to congratulate him and tells him to swallow the fly he holds in between his fingers to win more money. Hesitant, Fuchit goes back to the office while he stares at the fly. Eventually, he swallows the fly unknown to him that Tong is watching. Upon asking, Fuchit lies to Tong that he swallowed licorice. As she stares at him, stunned, she retrieves her cigarettes and leaves. Exactly as it happened previously, Fuchit receives another transfer. The caller informs him the game includes 13 challenges, and after every challenge, his price increases in value, plus he will be entitled to 100 million baht at the end of the game. Furthermore, the caller reveals that he can lose the game in different ways either by calling it quits himself or talking about the game to another person. The game will not only end, 
but he will also forfeit all the money he has gathered so far. Fuchet reluctantly agrees to the terms of the game. To proceed with the game, the caller tells him to leave the office. However, before he leaves, Fuchet goes to his boss's office, where he finds Prem and slaps him in the face. For the third challenge, the caller demands that he goes to a kid's playground and makes no less than three kids cry. Rather than cry, the boy he pushed to the ground begins to play with him. While fighting him off, he steps on a toy, and the boy that owns it begins to cry and then he snatches a toy from another, eventually making three kids cry. Making Fuchet recall how his father stomped on his toy as a child. As the kids' guardians notice Fuchet, he exits the premises. Meanwhile, Prem, Tong, and their boss are at the police station to report Fuchet's unruly act. Unable to provide Fuchet's last name, the police officer can't help. While still there, the women from the playground came to report Fuchet also, describing him, claiming he looks like Prem. Then a bloodied beggar came in to report that he was beaten and his coins were snatched from him by a man he describes to be Fuchet, claiming he looks like Prem. Angered, Prem threatens to sue his accusers. The next scene shows Fuchet putting the coins he snatched from the beggar into his pocket, fulfilling the fourth stunt. Again, the caller calls to reveal the fifth stunt. For the fifth stunt, Fuchet goes to a high-end restaurant where he is served a covered plate. He discovers that the plate's contents is excrement. The caller demands that he eat it. Unwilling to lose out on the money, Fuchet agrees and eats the excrement. For the next task, he meets a mentally unstable man and gives his phone to him in return for a riddle. He solves the riddle which was to get on the bus. On the bus, someone finds a mobile phone before Fuchet snatches the phone, thereby getting into a fight. Eventually, he wins the scuffle and retrieves the mobile phone. For the next stunt, the caller demands that Fuchet retrieve a dead body from the well. Strapping the corpse to his back, Fuchet takes out the body from the well. Later that night, he meets with his ex-girlfriend, Mayu, whom he tries to convince to get back with him. Mayu refuses his offer, and her new boyfriend, Shalurm, meets the two of them talking. Upon sighting Shalurm, Fuchet dejectedly walks away. Then the caller tells him to beat Shalurm up with a chair, which he does happily. Later feeling remorseful, Fuchet drives wounded Shalurm to the hospital, where he finds out he has been declared wanted. As he tries to hide from the police officers, the caller tells him to leave with an old patient who happens to be the woman from the first scene. Fuchet did as he was told, taking the woman back home. Meanwhile, Tong is worried about Fuchet's strange attitude. She gathers all the available information being a computer expert, she hacks into a website game known as 13. Unknown to her, she has been trapped in the game. Also, Detective Surachai, who is part of the investigative team, discovers there is more to Fuchet's strange behavior. Still with the woman, Fuchet sets out a closed line on the road. As some vehicles speed past, the line cuts off their heads. After that, Tong meets Fuchet at the scene, who has just thrown away his phone in frustration. Tong sees her dog, and as she calls out to her dog, the caller asks Fuchet to kill the dog and scare Tong with a samurai sword, which he does accordingly. For the next stunt, Fuchet eliminates a cow and retrieves a key from its intestine. Meanwhile, Tong successfully tracks and tails the location of the game organizers, where she meets a teenager, who informs Tong that he can't stop the game because he has no power over it. On a large screen, Tong watches Fuchet's final assignment. Fuchet opens the door with the key he retrieves from the belly of the cow. Upon entry, he sees his father in a chair with a knife beside him. In a flashback, he recalls how he almost killed his abusive father with a knife and his mother telling him she never wants him to turn out to be a bad person like his father. As he remembers his mother's words, he couldn't bring himself to kill his father. However, his father wakes up and stabs Fuchet, eliminating him while his father wins the game. The movie ends with Tong lying on a bench at a bus stop as Detective Surachai walks up to her. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.